Hello guys, in today's video, we're gonna check out the best coffee grinder in this year. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I've tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability, and many more. To find out more information about these coffee grinder, you can check out the description below. If you wanna get a best quality coffee grinder according to your needs, then watch the video till the end, and then decide to buy. At the first position of our list, we have Conical Burr Coffee Grinder. In our test, we were impressed with how the OXO Burr Grinder performed. It produced very even coffee grounds that could be used for espresso, cold brew, and everything in between. The hopper, where the beans are stored, features a UV blocking tin and an airtight lid, both of which help preserve flavor. It can also hold up to 3-4 pound of coffee beans, the largest capacity of all the grinders we tested. The grinder operates with the touch of a button and grinds into a static, fighting stainless steel container, which features a lid with a hole big enough to empty the grounds into a coffee filter without making a mess. The lid also helps prevent grounds from shooting everywhere during grinding. After emptying the grounds, you can securely click the container into place, readying it for the next batch. Coffee bean capacity, 3 slash 4 pound. Grind settings, 15. <laughs> Cup settings, none but offers a 30-second programmable timer. Moving on to the next and number two with Fresh Grind Electric Coffee Grinder. Blade grinders are generally less expensive than burr grinders, but this affordable Fresh Grind Electric Coffee Blade Grinder from Hamilton Beach stands out in terms of performance too. It can confidently grind up to nine tablespoons of coffee beans quickly and evenly. It's also easy to operate with by pressing a single button. The clear lid allows you to see inside to check how your beans are grinding and the grinding container is removable, which makes it easy to empty into a coffee filter. Unlike other blade grinders we tested, the container features six, 10 and 12 cup coffee ground markings to better guide your experience. It also lists a maximum for spices, although we typically recommend grinding your coffee and spices with different grinders. An additional unique feature is its cord storage system hidden within the base. Pull it down to expose a dowel that you can use to wrap the cord around and pop it back up to hide it. Coffee bean capacity, 9 tablespoons, according to the manufacturer's instructions. Grind settings, not applicable to blade grinders, only applicable to burr grinders. Grind size can be controlled by how many times you pulse it or how long you process it. Cup settings, none, but can be controlled by how many tablespoons of coffee beans you grind at a time. The number 3 position is held by Bistro Burr Coffee Grinder. Bottom makes it clear exactly what setting to use with its well-labeled burr coffee grinder. The airtight plastic lid is etched with a chart that suggests how long to grind the beans based on the type of coffee you're making as well as the amount. Simply turn the 7.75 ounce hopper to select one of 12 grind settings. The hopper is angled, which allows beans to flow into the grinder. In our test, the bottom burr coffee grinder was able to make even grounds on the fine, medium, and coarse settings all of which were noticeably different in size. Perfect for espresso, drip coffee and French press, and cold brew. The bottom grinder has a timer that grinds for up to 20 seconds in increments of five. Its glass container has a lid that prevents grounds from flying everywhere. The lid stays in place when shaking grounds into a filter, but is also easy to remove if you choose to use a coffee scoop. The grounds container has a rubber grip around it to make it easier to handle, and it slides in and out of the holder easily. Next at number 4, we have DBMH Supreme Grind Automatic Burr Mill. The Cuisinart Supreme Grind Automatic Burr Mill offers 18 grind sizes, all of which are noticeably different from each other. The finest grinds well for espresso, the medium for drip, and pour over, while the coarsest is perfect for cold brew and French press. The grounds container features a small hole through which grounds can pass easily and mess free into a coffee filter. Plus, you can replace the container securely in the base with one hand. The grinder comes with a two-in-one coffee scoop and brush for easy cleaning. The number five position is held by Silent Vortex Electric Grinder. After a few unavoidable clanky pulses, the Krupp Silent Vortex Electric Grinder was the quietest grinder we tested. While not silent, it had a muffled sound, which would benefit the sleeping members of any household, not to mention neighbors, for those in thin walled apartments. In addition to being quiet, it also produced even grounds quickly. It has a small footprint, making it even more perfect for apartment dwellers. 
The number 6 position is dominated by Infinity Plus Conical Burr Grinder. The Capraso Infinity Plus Conical Burr Grinder was the quietest burr grinder we tested. Like the crops, our quietest blade grinder, the Capraso made a noticeable low, muffled sound. It features 16 grind settings, each of which is easy to select with clearly labeled markings. The grinder also features a dial, so you can set how many cups you are grinding from 1 to 12. The ergonomic container is easy to pull out of the housing with one hand. It features a wide mouth with minimal static, good for pouring the grounds into a coffee filter. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Smart Grinder Pro. The Breville Smart Grinder Pro is designed beautifully for the most picky espresso and coffee drinkers. It features 60 grind settings that produce some of the most even results we've seen. The finest setting produces powdery grinds that don't clump together, while the coarsest resembles the ground coffee you'd buy in a store. The grinder features a large, digital screen that allows you to effortlessly select the grind size, cup amount, and grind time, which allows adjustment in 0.2 second increments. The grounds fall directly into a plastic container with cup markings for espresso, drip, and French press coffee. The container also features a cover for the opening in the lid in case you don't use all the ground coffee at once. The most unique feature of this grinder is its attachment for portafilters, allowing you to grind the coffee directly into the filter as you use in your espresso machine. So long, measuring and filling with a scoop. The number 8 position is held by Manual Coffee Grinder. For those looking for the absolute quietest way to grind coffee, a manual coffee grinder is the best bet. It also makes for an inexpensive alternative to an electric burr grinder. Compared with the two other manual grinders we tested, the Java Price has the most user-friendly handle, it was the most ergonomic and easy to use, and it didn't slip off during testing. Its grind settings were also the easiest to control, via a dial on the bottom of the grinder. Like some pepper mills, and we liked that we could see the coffee grounds through the viewing window on the container. Coffee bean capacity, 6 tablespoons. Grind settings, no specific settings are marked, but the grind size can be adjusted via a dial on the bottom of the grinder. Cup settings, none, but can be controlled by how many tablespoons of coffee beans you grind at a time. Next at number 9, we have Barrett's Encore. As a brand, Barrett's it came up in our reporting more often than any other. Some favorites higher-end models, more on a couple of those below, but nearly a dozen of the coffee aficionados we spoke with recommended this more affordable option, highlighting its quality performance and solid build especially for the price. It's simple to use and super consistent, Larry O told us. I've had one for almost three years now, and it's still amazing. Humberto Ricardo, founder of Third Rail Coffee, adds that Barrett's machines are designed to be repaired instead of thrown away should something break which is good for my wallet and for the planet. And speaking of repairs, Pratt noted Barrett's great customer service. When you have to replace the burrs every few years, they make it incredibly easy to do so, he says. Elliot Foos, director of coffee at Damus in Brooklyn, told us he used the Encore at work when he used to run the coffee shop attached to Chef Flynn McGarry's Lower East Side restaurant, Gem. It's intuitive and performs wonderfully. He says, grinding from fine espresso to the most coarse setting for French press or cold brew. The Encore has 40 grind settings, so you can easily adjust to whatever you are looking for. While he acknowledges it can be a little loud or a touch chatty, in his words Fu says that's to be expected for a grinder made of plastic and designed for the home. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Fellow Old Brew Grinder. When it came out a little over a year ago, Fellow's Old Grinder was all the buzz among professional and amateur baristas alike so much. So that it prompted associate editor Louis Chesla to try it out and write an extremely favorable review, noting in particular that at its very loudest, the grinder sounds like crumpling up a newspaper. But its appeal goes beyond noise control. The Ode combines fast, consistent, and typically commercial-grade flat burr grinding technology with a compact size and the thoughtful design details that Fellow's other tea and coffee products are known for. Here at The Strategist, we're particularly fond of the company's electric kettle. They really thought about every detail, says Jared Morrison, co-founder and co-CEO of Sightglass Coffee in San Francisco. The dial that adjusts the grind size is very intuitive. The cup that catches the grind is magnetic, so it clicks into position tightly and easily. The machine even has a button that shakes out any residual chaff the leftover coffee skins that mostly come off during roasting, but usually not all the way into the cup instead of blowing them out onto your counter, which happens with other grinders. For what it's worth, 
When I checked back in with Tesla, he noted that he did sometimes find excess grounds on his counter, but that he might have misunderstood the correct bud, and, regardless, that it's a small price for quieter grinding. That's all for today. We upload all types of coffee products and coffee accessories review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.